my name is Siri Tonsher. I'd like to share with you a family Thai recipe with you that utilizes garlic and is a favorite amongst crowds and anyone I come across. Chicken satay with peanut sauce and, can cube, and a cucumber salad alongside. What we're going to do is start with three large breasts of chicken filleted. That's about two pounds of chicken. Cut them in little strips, and I have some here that are cut in little strips, about one inch strips. And to these slices of chicken, I'm going to add a marinade. The marinade consists of, of course, garlic. I'm going to put two cloves of chopped garlic in here. Some grill seasoning. This is steak grill seasoning that you would find in any American supermarket. Uh, when my parents moved here from Thailand to California, there weren't any Asian stores, so they improvised with spices they found in the regular supermarket and a little Japanese store in Monterey. So grill seasonings. Then I add three tablespoons of soy sauce to it. One, two, three. And the secret ingredient to bring this dish together is condensed sweetened milk. Three tablespoons of condensed sweetened milk go into this marinade. Three. And just get in there with your hands and massage it all together. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Thai cooking, but Thai cooking is a bit spicy, a bit sweet, a bit salty. So once you make this recipe for the first time, you could spice it up with adding more grill spices or tone it down by adding a little more, a bit more sugar. So make it once and then you can improvise it from there. So now we take this marinated chicken and put it in the refrigerator overnight or, or at least for three hours. So I'm going to put that to the side right now and I'm going to show you how to skewer the meat on the bamboo sticks. Now my bamboo sticks have been soaking in water because you don't want them to burn when you're grilling them on the a barbecue or inside grill. So I'll show you how to skewer a few. Just take this sliced meat and put it right onto the skewer. I, I put about mm, enough meat to make it about three inch deep on the skewer. So there's one. I'll do one more for you. Very easy. In my family, this is a family event actually. I have friends come over and we have parties and we're skewering these um, nice little morsels for uh, our events. It's definitely an easy meal to prep for the weekdays. Just marinate it overnight and the next day you have it ready to go. So there are two skewers I made for you. Let me take you over to the grill pan where I have some going. What I've done is turn the grill pan piping hot and I put some of the sticks on the grill pan and I will baste it with coconut milk. Now the coconut milk keeps it nice and moist during the grilling process, which takes maybe about two minutes on the first side and an extra minute on the second side. It goes very quickly. Now when I was small, I helped my dad do this. I, my dad would put the sticks onto the barbecue and I would brush the coconut milk all over the chicken. Now besides chicken, so today can be pork, you can use pork or you can use beef. All are are popular at parties, especially beef. The men like the beef. So I have this grilling. Um, I'm already on the second side. I'm going to take them off the grill. And how, if you're if you're grilling a lot at one time, what I do is put about 10 or 12, wrap them up in foil, and hold them in a warming oven. So when the party starts, or when you're having, you know, when you're ready to have a fun time with your uh, guests coming to the home, you're ready to have a warm meal and enjoy your company. So there we go, we have the grilled meat, so I'm going to put that to the side, and peanut sauce. This peanut sauce is a favorite of my niece. My niece is seven years old. She's grown up eating peanut sauce. What you do is take a can of coconut milk, coconut milk, you can find it now in every supermarket in the United States, pour in a half a can of coconut milk into the pot. Add three tablespoons of Penang curry. You can find that in any grocery store. If you can't find it, it's easy to make at home if necessary. Then one, two, and three. The next, I'm going to add peanut butter. I like chunky peanut butter, but you can use creamy peanut butter. I put three tablespoons of peanut butter into the boiling coconut milk and 
Just keep stirring it. Now at this point, like I said, Thai food is spicy, it's sweet, it's sour. I like mine spicy, so I'm going to add another spoonful of the curry paste and continue stirring. The, sun, the sauce is done. Your goal is to have a sauce that's a caramel color, and I have one already made on the stove. So I'm going to stir it, and the sauce you can keep to put on grilled chicken, to make maybe a Thai, chur a thai chicken salad. It, you know, besides this grilled meat, it's good for a lot of purposes. My little uh, niece likes to put it on her veggies, like a dip. Put that in here. You should, oh, if you're here, the aroma is delicious aroma. It's very exotic and very, mm, I love the scent of coconut. So there's the peanut sauce. Have that ready to go. And the last part of my meal is the cucumber salad. This is a nice, light, refreshing salad. I chopped up um, some English cucumbers. If it's the regular cucumbers, you're going to need to peel them into little pieces. Then to this cucumber, I chopped up some small red onions, about a quarter of a small red onions. And then I chopped up one, one chili. Now, you don't want more than one because it's going to be very spicy. And this is an optional optional feature of the salad. So put this all in the bowl together. And at this point, all you need to do is add two tablespoons of vinegar. One, two, and some sugar. I put two teaspoons or a tablespoon and just stir it up. And there's your nice little salad. Now at this point, if you like it a little bit salty, which I do, I put a pinch of salt in there too, just for me. So there's the relish. You can have this, serve this cold, or you can serve this at room temperature. So what I'm going to do is show you the final product. And like I said, this is a very favorite meal of anyone who's come over to our home and for parties. And in the restaurant, oh my goodness, this would be a fortune. And it's so economical to make at home. So let me get this all plated nicely and put some steaks on here. And I'll show you the final uh, skewers here. This, Like I said, this makes it the beginning. It makes about 40 skewers. So you can feed a lot of people and have a lots of nice people over your home enjoying this meal with you. So there's that. And let me show you the presentation. And here you go. Chicken satay with coconut peanut sauce and a nice cucumber salad on the side. I hope you try making this recipe at home and I hope to be back to share, you, to share with you this recipe in person. Thank you for joining me today.